Okay, so welcome to uh, another app. This is for the real creatives who want to get funky with the cameras and do multiple angle filming. And the app is called Collaboracam and it allows you to film from several different angles simultaneously. So you'll see here, uh, what we do is we try and set up a multi-angle shoot. I've got two cameras here filming a conversation between two small furry animals. Uh, don't ask, they're all that were to hand. So I've got my main camera here and my two other cameras you can see there are recording this conversation. Now, to set up the, each slave camera, it's very easy, you open the app and you choose the camera option and what you'll see is that uh, you've got your screen there, that's what the camera operator for each of the cameras can see. Now they're manually operated so they will have to do the work of moving the camera and you can see the other person is just moving their camera into focus. Good tip here, don't get the other camera into view. That would be silly. Um, you can see here a status button that uh, is blank at the moment. That's because I haven't set up the director's camera. Um, later on, you'll see that when the director's camera is controlling them, that will turn blue, as you can see there. And then when the director's camera starts recording, it turns red. That's how the camera operator knows that they're being used at any particular time. Your alternative to using this app is to record every part of the conversation using one iPad and changing positions constantly. The other thing I'd recommend is that you use a tripod for the iPads to keep them steady. And if you're using iRig to record sound, then keep it on the director's camera or coming out of the director's camera. So we've got this uh, recording set up here and what we need to do now is to get the director's camera in. What we do is get the director button up and it'll offer us a little title screen. So we enter a, a session title. I'm just going to put in the word test for the moment. And that creates a new session. Now you don't need to put in any copyright info so skip that. And what comes up is this screen here, which tells you all of the iPads that you can control. So I can see multiple iPads there, and that's what I'm going to now use. So by tapping on the camera number, up comes the view from each individual camera. And if I do the second camera, you can see that what comes up is I've now got a view from both cameras simultaneously. And this is on my director's camera. Now what we need to do now is arm each of the other cameras using the director's camera. Now arming them simply means that you control and send instructions to them. As you can see here, I am sending an instruction to a particular camera which registers it. Now so you can see what's happening on the cameraman's end, the blue button tells him to get ready to film and then he gets an instruction on the screen telling him in this case to pan right and he knows he's got a couple of seconds before the button goes red and as soon as it's red he knows that his is the camera being used and he has to pan right. So there's a, a, a lot of communication going on here between him and the director. So here what I have to do is to, there are several ways of doing this. The first is to select uh, a camera action and then to select the camera that you want to apply it to and then you can see a little uh, symbol in the top left hand corner. Alternatively, you can select the camera first and then the action. Same symbol. You'll see that that goes blue. There's the little action for the symbol. And then as soon as we've done that, it's ready and we can press record. So, little summary. Press the camera that you want to use. Press the action that you wanted to do and then press record when you're ready to start with that camera and automatically you'll see that the other camera stops recording so you've got a seamless flow from one camera to the other's imagery and then you just arm the next camera with the next instruction and follow exactly the same thing again at the end of the recording process simply press stop and you've got the whole thing done uh, it's very important to press this button first to save the session and what happens then is it will just process all of the clips. A good director will always want to check what they've filmed so review the footage once it's been 
processed. You can then see exactly how the clips stack up next to each other in the way that you filmed them going between one camera and the next. Once you've done that, you can decide to refilm or say that you're happy and then we can get on with exporting the actual clips themselves. So there's several options at the bottom. The first one in the middle here is to export all the clips individually. That way you can edit each individual clip first. You also need to make sure that you uh, either duplicate the session or delete the session, or if you're happy with it, you can leave that alone. And the left hand real symbol is the most important one because that will export a rough cut of the movie to the camera roll in whatever size you prefer. As soon as you hit the button, it starts to export to the camera roll. Now this is useful because once it's been exported, then you can simply go to your camera roll, just exit the program itself. Everything will be saved, so it's not a problem. And if you go to the camera roll, you'll find your, it's the little flower symbol there, you'll find your footage is probably the last thing in there. Have a little look at it. And there you go, you've got it full screen. I did this on a fairly small setting, you see, but you can do it on a larger one if you want to export it. Now, the advantage of this is it allows you to edit the footage further. Using, for instance, iMovie or Pinnacle or something like that, I can quite easily create a new project. And this time I'm using Pinnacle. There's a tutorial elsewhere on this if you want. And you can see that all of the footage is in there. And by dragging that down onto the timeline, you can edit this further by putting voiceovers in or by adding special effects or titles or whatever you want. So this is a great program for being able to operate lots of different cameras together and really practice being a director. Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it.